All right, Valley Junior High. This week we're doing what's called Ken Ken. Uh, so this is going to be a practice one. Don't write anything down. Just kind of watch and think. And the next one we pull up is the one you'll have to do. And I will uh, be sending all the teachers a copy of the correct answer for the one you guys are going to do. So anyway, Ken Ken's a lot like Sudoku. Um, you have to put the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in all the rows and all the columns. Okay? You can't have two twos in a row or one one in a two ones in a row or two threes in a column. It's got to be one, two, and three in each row and column in any order so that it works. All right? So, hey, here we go. So, right away we know that this square is a two because it's bolded. See the thicker lines around it? And it says two, so two has to go right here. So we know that a one or a three could go here, but we got to decide which one goes where. So this is two minus, so that means you subtract to get the two. So for now, I guess I'm going to go with three and one, but it could be one and three. The minus isn't in any order, it just means you subtract 3 minus 1, but it doesn't matter where you put the numbers. It's still going to be 3 minus 1 regardless of where you put the numbers. Uh, so, actually, I think I want to go with 3 here and 1 here. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think I know why, because this is a 3 divided by 1 is 3 and if I put a 1 right here and a 3 here I got two ones that's not good so we gotta put a 3 here and a 1 here which automatically tells me this has to be a 3 and this has to be a 2 and this has to be a 1 and this has to be a 2 2 divided by 1 is 2 a lot of bling, a lot of bloop, and there you go, as Mr. Colby would say. So, this is called Ken Ken. I need you guys to try the one on this next page. Thank you so much. Here you go. Try this one. If you get your answer, you can check with your advisory teacher. We will send them the correct answers, and thank you for playing along. Have a great pie week.